So how does it taste? It tastes really good. Anyala, mm -hmm. how does it taste? You like it? Mm-hmm. today I'm going to be making a dish with some yucca root if you don't know what yucca root is uh, you have to watch the video that came before this the cooking video that came before this I show you how to prepare it from the root to this and I'm going to be using my iron skillet now I've had this iron skillet for a long time I've not seasoned this for a long time, but I just rubbed this on my olive oil. But this iron skillet, iron skillet is good, especially when you have anemia, when you want to infuse iron into your food, it is good to cook with this. I want to say a big shout out to Yet Yetune Vlogs because she showed herself using this iron skillet on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I have two of this and I always forget to use it. So she was like, girl, get it out and use it. So yeah, today if you are watching this, thank you so much. So I'm going to start off with my olive oil and I'm going to turn on my fire and I'm going to pour some olive oil into this skillet. Okay, once I put the olive oil in there, I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit hot. So let's just do that. So while this is getting hot, I want to move you guys over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, <laughs> you guys saw that. <laughs> you guys are wobbling. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys over to this area. Now this here is my onion. I have my onion. I have my tomato. This is grape tomato. It's very yummy. Hmm. And I have my spinach and my mushroom. And over here is my yucca root. And I also have here gesha macro so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to add in my onion in there and also my tomatoes i'm not adding in the spinach right now so i'm trying not to involve the spinach in this party you are not invited right now i'm gonna add in my mushroom And I'm going to allow everything to cook. I want to say for about five minutes. Okay, make sure that everything is coated with the oil. And I'm going to let it cook for about five minutes. So now, you, after cooking this, you see once the onions are soft, then what we're going to do now is we're going to take the gesha. And we're gonna add that in there okay now if you don't like fish we like fish <laughs> if you don't like fish then you can add something else or you can actually skip this if you are vegan you can skip this so I'm just mashing this together and we like fish fish is very good for your health it's good for your body so I'm just gonna add it like that. If you notice, I did not break the fish so much. Okay. And then I'm going to add my eggs. Now with my eggs, I'm gonna break some of it here. So I'll first break one and I'll look to see if there's any shell. If there's no shell, I'm going to take it and I'm gonna scramble it on top like this so i'm scrambling it on top like that and i'm gonna break the next one make sure you reduce the fire so i'm gonna break four eggs and do this repeat the same thing so you see this is why you want to break the egg outside of the pan because some people just break it in there sometimes i i can't do that so just remove this sorry my hands are clean i wash my hands so I go here and I add that in there. So any place where there's a gap, just add in your egg. And we're going to repeat that. So you can even break two at a time if you want. The key thing is don't scramble it in the container yet. You scramble it when you are on top of the skillet. Okay? And then you scramble it on top. Okay? 
it gives it a different form when you scramble it on top this will be cooking now the thing with skillet is you have to be very careful because these skillets they cook and they burn so at this point the seasoning is going to marinate in there so i'm doing this okay i'm just cooking it gently mashing it together increase your fire to about medium so that it helps cook it some more so you want to cook this for a little while until it's a little bit harder on the side so once you cook it flip it over okay and when you don't see so much yolk now we're going to introduce our yolka root so i'm adding the yolka root in there Remember when you when we cook the yoka root, we added some salt already, so I'm not adding any more salt in there. Now to give it a little bit of spiciness, you can add some peppers, but um, if you don't like if you don't like peppery stuff, you don't have to add pepper. My family will love spicy, so I just add some peppers on top. These uh, red peppers, I just add some on top like that. Okay. Then I'm going to just mix everything. You don't want to mash it. You want, just want to mix it gently in there. Okay. And now, the last thing, you introduce your spinach in there. So we're going to introduce the spinach. And then we'll just cook it for about, I'll say about three minutes and you'll be done. Because I don't want the spinach to wither too much. And it gives it a nice colorful look to it. So this is your yucca or yucca root egg casserole. I hope you guys give this a try. If you give it a try. Send me a comment, share this video, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.